Okay, so you're probably wondering, what is this video? What's with this whole Black Ops 4 journey? Well, it's over. There's nothing left for me to chase in terms of weapon camos. Um, the only exception being the melee weapons, but I've already done these. The problem is I'm aware that there's ones like sl a sledgehammer or something, but those were event specific, so I don't have everything unlocked, but still. Um, all of the assault rifles, done. Um, my take on the assault rifles, uh, which ones are the hardest to do in terms of the base ones? Uh, none really. The base ones were relatively easy to get done. I didn't find them to be too big of an issue. Maybe the vapor at times, but that was only because uh, a little bit of the mobility, but it just kind of lacked in some areas compared to the other ones, but it wasn't that big of a problem. It was maybe at times I couldn't get the range I wanted despite having less range than Maddox, but that's okay. Um, DLC ARs that we're adding. SWAT RFT was easy. Same with the Lil. I'm not calling it the grab, calling it the glow, whatever works. Peacekeeper was also relatively um, easy to do. N94, similar case. Took me um, two years of on and off play to finally do this. This is the last one I got unlocked. Um, was this one? Yeah, it's done for. Some machine guns, MX-9. This one's relatively easy too. Uh, the GKS. This one was also really easy to get done. Probably regardless of game mode too. Uh, Spitfire. Yeah, even after it's tuning over the years, it was it was it's still easy to do. It it has its um benefits. It, can just spray it spray. It'll be hard to get the headshots, but after that, you're 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 okay. You won't be struggling with the headshots um, once uh, past a certain point because you'll just hope and get it, and aim it. And I wouldn't recommend using it in hardcore, but that's only because of its damage fall off, as you can tell. Cordite done. Probably one of the easier ones due to the magazine size. Sog is really really it's a top tier weapon, so of course it was relatively easy to do. This one was a little difficult at times, but that's due to the fact that it it needs, uh, not need, but it sometimes I need high cal just to get headshots, and even in hardcore it's one shot at times, so. Um, okay, this one's interesting. The Switchblade. This one was not hard um, past a certain point, at least to play with, but it was hard for me at first because they had to actually buff the Switchblade. In terms of magazine size, I think something else when they released it, from what I remember playing, so. I don't know the full context behind that, but. Yeah. That's that one. It was not the hardest, but at first it kind of was due to how it behaved. VMP, this one's easy. This one was stupidly easy to do. Nope. Fire rate's ridiculous. Uh, time to kill's ridiculous. Just like the SOG, it was easy. Micro MG 9mm. Um. Headshots were relatively, it's kind of a similar situation with the Spitfire, but you had to kind of wind it up, so it was not the hardest. Tactical rifles. Auger DMR, easy over time. It's very accurate weapon, hard to fucking miss. Uh, ABR 223, uh, done. Uh, this one was also relatively easy. Same with the Swordfish. That was relatively easy too. Um, the Stingray, uh, this one was not that hard either, to be honest. It was also really easy. The only thing I really had a problem with was sometimes having to hit people close range to try to get bloodthirsties at times. But other than that, it was these were relatively easy. Same thing goes for the M16. 
Light machine guns. This one's easy. Titan was easy. Just, these are easy guns to use for me personally. Light machine guns have always, well, at least in this game, just are just stupidly powerful. The Hades is also done. This one was only a little bit harder, but that's because I didn't like the iron sights at first. But other than that, it didn't matter. Other than that, it was relatively easy to do. V cam. Uh, okay, this one was actually kind of difficult, but that's because of the weird recoil pattern that it had for the slow firing light machine gun. But other than that, over time, still not too hard to do, and got it. Tiger Shark, also easy to do. No problems at all. Sniper Rifles, Paladin. This one was, re these were relatively easy. I didn't find the Paladin to be too hard. Okay, the Outlaw was difficult, though. At least because you had to unlock something to make it have a more generous one-shot, one-kill zone. But other than that, eh, it was in the middle for me. It wasn't the hardest, but it was not the easiest either. It definitely was something. The SDM. Um, this also applies to the same logic for the other semi-automatics, which is the Vendetta. Not the heavily, and we'll get into that in a second. SDM and Vendetta were... Um, a pain in the ass for the headshots only because of positioning of where players were half the time and it was pretty much just a spray fest with this weapon and hopes you would get it. Kashka, um, relatively easy. Didn't have any problems past a certain point. It was, um, fine. Same thing goes for the Locust. This was also easy to get done. I'd say Locust was easier than the Kashka though. This one was a little bit difficult. Um, but, eh, other than that, it was okay. The only thing that sucks with the snipers is not um, the one shot one kills or the headshots. It's the long shots, because a lot of maps aren't designed around long shots, but that's for another day. Okay, primaries aside, secondary weapons. Strife, easy to do over time. Has steady recoil, hard to miss the head. RK7 Garrison, similar situation. It's kind of like... Using a B23R because that's what it fucking is. Pretty much. Mozu, this is a little bit different. The lack of um um what's it called? Oh, yeah, the lack of bullets. It's in like you had to have downtime to reload a lot. You basically had to have speed loader on if you were wanting to get bloodthirsties or just play really passive. One of the two. One was added. Cap 45. Also relatively easy to get done. It wasn't the hardest weapon to use, but it did need some magazine um, help in terms of hybrid mag. Okay, pistols, they're all all dark matter. Shotguns, Mog 12, easiest of them all alongside... Oh, actually, not the easiest. It was okay. Um, I'd say the hardest was probably the fucking Argus. We'll get into that in a minute. SG-12, also done. This was easier than the Mog 12. The Mog 12 at least had some fucking things that set it back, but this was uh, this was pretty easy, except for the headshots. Those sucked, but it's a semi-auto, so it was a matter of time. The Rampage kind of sucked to do too, worse so than the the um, SG 12 because it just fired way too fast, and you could barely get headshots most of the time. But other than that, once you got them done, it was easy street from there. This one sucked ass, though, because Black Ops 4's Argus is nowhere near Black Ops 3's Argus at all. It just does not... And you can't even one-shot kill people with this thing, barely. And they also want you to get 100 headshots. With a lever-action shotgun that has a tendency to not be the huge fan of even one-hit killing when you need it to be, and can be awkward to play up against other people when you're getting shot by, like, a SOG or something. Launcher is relatively straightforward. You just destroy score streaks. This was not hard at all. Something you get over time. So all the melee weapons combined, I'm going to separate the combat knife from the rest due to animation reasons. Um, so I think I have a prophecy, but I think like some of these swing faster than others. I don't know. But overall... These were relatively easy to do, except for the Bloodthirsties. These could be a, a pain in the ass at times, and so could the 
Um, per not purple hex, but uh, getting a kill with their own weapon because you'd get killed before you have it. But other than that, these were relatively straightforward. Um, didn't have any problems with the regular kills. It was mainly just getting the penthouse camo and the spectrum camo, which were the kill someone, pick up their weapon, kill them with it specifically, not just any person, and then also the bloodthirsties, but that's because getting up close to people is kind of hard to fucking do at times. Yep, let your ching is done. Gonna try not to but butcher this? We're gonna try not to. The Nefotoi? I don't fucking know. I probably fucked that up. But that's done. This is one of the only weapons that I have uh, that was an event thing. I, I don't I don't have any of the others. I don't. I don't. Dark matter. Now, for the two most pain in the ass weapons in this game, if you're ever gonna try to get. Don't. Just. If you wanna torture yourself, sure. If you wanna torture yourself, sure. But here. Now, getting kills with this. Okay. Perfectly fine. This is. This is where. This is where this shit becomes an issue. Get five kills without dying five times. You have to play really, really passive with this. It's kind of boring. Two rapid kills. That's not the hardest one. That These these just take a while. Because a lot of people are using guns. Revenge medals. Those don't take long. But long shots. Now the reason that this, this is going to apply to the ballistic knife. I'm going to go over this one first. You basically want titanium bolt on. To increase its accuracy. And what this game considers a long shot is almost near sniper range. Or basically, pretty much. So that's really fucked up. And this is even worse. Because they want you to do the same thing with the ballistic knife. Yep. Same thing. Long shots with a fucking spring-loaded knife. Jeez. Oh, this was the worst to do. It was the long shots. And... The bloodthirsties. Yeah, it's just mainly mainly long shots though. More so the long shots. But they're still a pain. But uh, I'm butchering a lot. But bloodthirsties were a pain. But this, no, this I got out of the way eventually because I, oh god, it was a struggle trying to get long shots on people for with like tactical rifles with a fucking knife. By the way, if this commentary sounds like hammered shit, it's because I literally just completed all this. Today, I finally got the last weapon done. Which was, as I mentioned... Ehawk Dual Bore. It's over. There's literally nothing left for me to obtain, even if I go to here. I got just the thing for you. Nothing. These are just... Mastercrafts. MK2s. Doesn't matter. It's over. I basically have nothing left to chase in this game. So. Well. There's that. That's every single... Well, almost every single weapon in Black Ops 4 Dark Matter. The only reason I have to say almost is because of those event-specific weapons that I never got. So. That's it. Um, the last time... Um, I originally unlocked Dark Matter for the base weapons. All the way back in... January 11th, 2019. I literally made a montage called Dark Matters. Because I didn't know what else to do. And I conveniently hit a clip on unlocking Dark Matter. So, that was interesting. Uh, yeah. It's been two years of on and off play, and, well, there we go. It's all done. This is probably one of my proudest achievements, uh, period. This isn't much of a special video or anything. This isn't much of a, you know, much content, but this is probably one of my proudest achievements in games, period. Alongside some of the other stuff I've done that I... Frankly, I don't talk about, but this one, this one I've spent way too much time investment to not say something about it. 
if you stuck through all my rambling, good for you. Um, catch you all later. This is just fucking insanity. It really is.